Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff from Lutheran Church, The Resurrection. It's Monday, March 1st, and we are here in Luke 12 in our Lenten devotion. Where we're reading through the Gospel of Luke and then the Acts of the Apostles. So I think um, you know what struck me in Luke 12 is we get this great um, parable of the rich fool. As far as I know, it's, it's one of the few places where you know God actually kind of steps out and calls somebody a fool. And, and why is this one a fool? Well, he has been given incredible abundance. Um, he's had a bumper crop, and that's a good thing. Um, but how he's reacted to that, he's seen the abundance as only something that was to be used for his own personal gain. So what does he do? He tears down his barns and he builds bigger ones so that he can hold everything that he has. Well, what was his other option? He had perfectly good barns and he could have filled them to the top and had more than enough. And with that which was left over, he could have done what? He could have, exactly, he could have given it away. He could have shared it with his neighbor. Remember, Luke is concerned about putting our faith into action. So this abundance that he has is an opportunity for him to show the love of neighbor. Instead, he turns in on himself. And what happens that night? God says, you fool, this very night you are going to die. This is really a very um, unsettling uh, reminder that life is short, that nothing is guaranteed. But the days that we do have, the opportunities that we have, are meant to be used not just for us. Indeed, he should have filled his barn up. There's nothing wrong with that. But also with using his abundance to spill over into the love of neighbor. Well, as Luke 12 goes on, we also get that great... Um, uh, passage about worry and Jesus kind of saying you know and it really ties into this idea of, of how we live out our lives you know don't spend your time worrying about what you're going to eat or, or what you're going to wear think about the beauty of, of creation itself um, God will provide for you God will take care of you it's an easier word for us to hear here where, where we basically have that which we need but the point is to never lose hope that somehow God doesn't know that you do need very basic things for life. And God has given us those things in the gifts of creation. Well, as we uh, move to the end of Luke 12, we do hear that um, Jesus' teaching is going to be the cause of division. Not everyone's going to be open to hearing this word. Maybe especially going back to that parable of, of the rich fool. Right? We don't want to hear that it's not all about us. We don't want to hear that we should share in our abundance. These words of Jesus are going to be divisive. And yet, we know that they are the words of life. May your heart be open to the Holy Spirit as we're reading through the Gospel of Luke together. God bless you.